Hi everyone, and welcome back to Geraniology and Decoding Your Y-DNA, a series about how Y-DNA testing can help us explore our paternal lines. My name is Jeremy Lehman, and I am a genealogist who loves weaving DNA into family history research. Be sure to check out a link to all of the videos in my series in the video description or down in the comments. And if you're enjoying the series, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. In this video, we'll take a deeper dive into Wifel, an important website for exploring Y-DNA lineages. Wifel.com was founded in 2013 in Russia, although it has since moved much of its key operations to Barcelona, Spain in the EU. Wifel specializes in analyzing Y-DNA results from DNA sequencing tests. Unlike testing companies, Wifel doesn't collect samples or run the test itself. Instead, it analyzes your raw data to determine your precise haplogroup, identify novel SNPs, and place you within the global Y-DNA phylogenetic tree. There is tremendous value in having a third-party website such as Yful exist. Family Tree DNA is unquestionably the market leader in Y-DNA testing, but it's not the only company to provide Y-DNA results. There are other companies today that offer whole genome sequencing or WGS testing, which sequence your entire genome, including the Y chromosome. Family Tree DNA doesn't accept Y DNA transfers from these other testing sites. And so, Yful has become the natural place to upload this data. Yful's database is smaller than Family Tree DNAs, but it does have tens of thousands of samples including important samples from around the world that aren't found in Family Tree DNA's database. At the heart of the website is the y full y tree, a massive, ever-evolving phylogenetic tree of the human Y chromosome. It displays how all known male lineages are related to one another, organized by haplogroup and subclad. A similar phylogenetic tree exists for mtDNA lineages, called the mTree, which mirrors family tree DNA's mitotree for maternal lines. These phylogenetic trees are free for anyone to view and are updated every four to six weeks. I am a big fan of Wifel's Y tree. One of the nice features is the ability to see the tree from different views. My favorite is the classic view, where you can see haplogroups and their subclads alongside information about specific samples, including their country and region of origin. Unlike Family Tree DNA's Big Y block tree, Yful's Y tree clearly shows the time to the most recent ancestor, better known as TMRCA dating, which makes it easier to interpret the data about the haplogroups. And you can even view ancient DNA samples in the Y tree, something that you can't do with the big Y block tree. Wifel offers other Y tree views as well. Its live view is similar to classic, but it includes all the recent changes in structure such as the addition or subtraction of subclads that will be finalized when the Y tree is next updated. There's also a chart view that provides a similar visualization to the big Y block tree and a scientific view where you can see the estimated formation date for a range of haplogroups. These views are freely available any haplogroup on the Y tree. You don't need to register with the website or 
upload a sample. You can, of course, upload your raw data to WIFL from any testing site, whether it be from a big Y test or a WGS test. For a big Y test, you can either upload a VCF file, which Family Tree DNA provides you for no additional charge, or you can upload a BAM file, which Family Tree DNA charges an additional $100 on top of the big Y test. My recommendation is to save your money and go with the VCF file. You won't be able to get a list of STR matches, but that's not a deal breaker. If you decide to upload to YFOL, you will need to register a username with the website. The initial analysis of the sample will be free, but once your haplogroup is assigned, you will need to pay a fee of 45 euro per sample in order for it to remain on YFOL's phylogenetic tree. YFOL offers a bunch of analytical tools for samples that are uploaded to the site. Let's briefly review some of the key ways you can better analyze your results on YFOL. Under HG and SNPs, you can see your Y-DNA haplogroup and a link to the Y-tree, as well as a list of terminal SNPs that are common to all samples belonging to your terminal haplogroup. You can even click on individual SNPs to see more detailed information, such as how many sequencing reads took place to confirm the SNP. Under Novel SNPs, you can take a closer look at your sample's private variants, SNPs that are not currently found in anyone else's data in WIFL's database. These Novel SNPs are grouped based on sequencing quality to help prioritize your area of focus. Under SNP matches, you will get a list of other matches in YFOL's database, including the number of shared SNPs that you share with a match. You can message any of these matches using YFOL's internal messaging system. And under age estimation, you can see estimated age of your subclads and their upstream haplogroups. WIFL also provides tools to analyze your sample's STRs. You can take a closer look at your STR results and variants, and you can also view your STR matches if you uploaded a BAM file. So, WIFL has a lot to offer in terms of its analytical tools, for uploaded samples. One other great feature relates to ancient DNA. I have found that YFOL is the quickest to incorporate new ancient DNA samples into their Y tree. They also have a dedicated website where you can search through academic papers and see all of the samples that were included in the paper that are in YFOL's database. There are a lot of things to like about YFOL, but the site is not without its drawbacks. YFOL's database is not as robust as family tree DNA, which means that its Y tree may not be as detailed as family tree DNA's big Y block tree. This also has a significant impact on YFOL's dating of haplogroups and subclads. I have found family tree DNA to be more accurate in its TMRCA dating. The other main negative is the cost involved with uploading a sample. If you've already paid up for a big Y test, it can be painful to cough up even more money to YFOL. Fortunately, the Y tree is freely available to the public, which is the most valuable part of YFOL's website. YFOL is crucial for both personal genealogy and academic research. It provides a standardized, transparent, and constantly updated phylogenetic framework used by genetic genealogists, historians, and scientists worldwide. By combining 
modern testers, and ancient genomes, YFOL helps reconstruct how human populations have expanded, migrated, and evolved, one paternal lineage at a time. What has your experience been like using YFOL's website? Have you checked out the Y tree? And have you uploaded a sample to their site? I'd love to hear about it down in the comments. And if you're enjoying the series, be sure to like and subscribe. Let's keep decoding your YDNA together.